Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video, I'm just going to do a casual little get ready with me. I'm actually going to be showing you how I use the Mermaid Hair Blow Dry Brush. Now this was gifted to me to feature in a YouTube video and I'm also going to be recreating the eyeshadow look from my Essence Foundation review because so many of you commented saying how much you liked it and there better be a tutorial and <laughs> I didn't film it at the time so I'm going to recreate that for you today and I'm excited to just sit down and play with some makeup this is going to be fun okay okay if you're excited for today's video give it a thumbs up while you're watching and don't forget to come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok yes Links in the description box. All right. <laughs> I got these new mugs from Target. Look how big it is. Like, come on. That's what I'm talking about. It's the little things in life, you know? Like, having a coffee in the morning in a mug that I really like, just, it's nice. All right, so let's start with hair. What order do you guys get ready in? I personally like to do my hair first because I'm using heat and I get sweaty. <laughs> so I like to do my hair first and then I do my makeup and then I get dressed. What's your order? Tell me down below. So this here is the Mermaid Hair Blow Dry Brush. Now I have been seeing these all over Instagram and TikTok. So when they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try it, I was like, hell yeah, I do. So this is designed to dry and style your hair at the same time. So just like when you leave the hairdressers with a fresh blowout, this is going to give you that same look. It's a lot easier than using a hairdryer and a round brush as well. Like I've only attempted that a few times and it has just been a major fail. The brush itself is super light so your arms aren't going to get sore when you're using it. It has a swivel cord down the bottom here so you're not going to get tangled. And the bristles are also very flexible flexible and tangle free. I have not got my hair caught up in this once. So I like to start out with damp hair. You can use it on dry hair as well to like freshen up your look. I like to start with damp hair though. As you can see I have quite wavy hair naturally and when it dries it just like it's Hagrid vibes okay. So I'm going to start out with a heat protectant mist. Gotta take care of that hair that took me so long to grow. <laughs> And then I'm going to section my hair. So I've got a little bit out at the bottom here. I'm just going to brush it. And then I'm no good with measurements, but I take about this much at a time. <laughs> and then I like to go in with the Gen setting. So it actually has three heat settings. You've got Cool, which is low heat, high power. You've got Gen, high heat, low power, and Hot, high heat, high power. I did use it on Hot the other day and I literally did my hair in like 10 minutes. It was so quick. It dried it and styled it so fast. So once I turn it on, I just like to start at the roots and kind of brush it through a few times. Once it starts to dry, that's when I will hold on to the end here. This bit doesn't get hot, so you can hold on to it and start brushing my hair through in that circular round motion to get that blowout effect. So let's do it. Now, my hair does stay a little bit frizzy at the roots, but I think that's just because I have naturally wavy hair. And as I said before, it's just Hagrid vibes. The only way I'm going to really get that straight and sleek is with a straightener. But the rest of my hair looks so beautiful and sleek. And by the time I've done it all, the frizz is at the bottom. You can't even see it. I don't even care. <laughs> Okay, my camera cut off, rude. But as I was saying, I just touch up the front bits of the hair and that's it. I love how sleek it makes my hair look. And then for these flyaways, 
I use this Schwarzkopf Taft full on, it's a matte paste. This one here, I've been using this for years, like since I had a pixie cut. Run it, like rub it into my fingers and then just lightly touch the tops, like the top of my hair, the tops, <laughs> to lay down those flyaways. All right, well, if you wanna know more, I will put a link down in the description box below. Moving on to makeup, I'm actually going to go in with the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. So as I said, I did do a first impressions on this recently, and I have had a few more chances to wear it, but just not as much as I'd like, because as I said in that video, I wear a mask all day at work, and there's no use trying out a foundation when I've got a mask rubbing it off all day. So I have the lighter shade available here in Australia. This is 050 Neutral Champagne. And this is what it looks like. It is a bit too dark for me, so I go in with some of the Astralis Matchmaker Lightning Drops. And I just mix some of those in until I get a shade that looks about right. Actually, before I go in with foundation, I am going to use the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I have been loving this. It's really hydrating, but it also fills in your pores. Just smooths out the skin, and it's got such a nice scent to it. It's kind of like a sweet marshmallow scent oh my god look at the glow that it gives oh so nice so what i've been liking about this foundation is first of all the coverage and the finish it has a medium coverage and a beautiful satin matte finish i just love that it makes the skin look pretty natural <laughs> It sits so beautifully on the skin as well. It doesn't cling to any dry patches or settle into fine lines. And so far I found it to be pretty long lasting. I actually wore it the other night. I went and saw um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the musical. It was playing at QPAC in Brisbane. We brought tickets months ago and it was so exciting that it finally come around. And so anyway, I wore this foundation and we had to wear a mask like the whole time during the whole show. And when I got home and took my makeup, like took my mask off, sorry, the only places the foundation had moved were on my nose and a little bit on my chin. Like, I was amazed. It lasted really, really well underneath the mask. All right, let's bring it in for a close up. So you can see that my face looks nice and glowy. You can still see some of my scars and pigmentation, but I don't mind that. I think it just looks so natural. Oh, I love it. I love it. For concealer, I'm using the e.l.f. Hydrating Chemo Concealer, and this is in the shade Light Ivory. Friggin' love this concealer. It's only $10. But yeah, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory was so good. I, okay, I've seen a few musicals. My first one was Lion King, like, years ago, and so obviously my expectations were set very high after seeing that. <laughs> And then I saw Book of Mormon, which the production was amazing. And then we saw Chicago. Now that was probably the one that let me down the most, unfortunately. I really loved the movie Chicago and I think I was just expecting um, a lot more. <laughs> but yeah, it was still good. I just, I expected more. <laughs> Listen to me, like as if I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But Charlie was really good. They had a lot of different set changes. A lot of it was quite digital, but like I get why they did that. But all the characters were really great and funny. They did change the storyline a little bit, but obviously that's understandable. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. For my powder, I'm going in with the number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Finishing Powder in the shade Light. I actually picked this one up because I tested out some of Jessica Braun's favorite makeup items. Number seven did come to Priceline recently, but I'm pretty sure it's just the skincare. I don't remember seeing any makeup. I'm just going to set the T-zone area of my face, and I like to use my sponge for powders and just kind of push the powder into the skin. For bronzer, I am going to be using this NARS Sunkissed Bronzing Cream in Laguna. Now, this was limited edition. I don't know if it's still available, but if it is, go and get it because it's freaking amazing. You all know I'm more of a drugstore kind of gal. I don't buy a lot of um, high-end products very often, but this was so raved about and I fell for the hype and I'm glad I did because it's 
stunning. For blush, I'm going to be using this Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush in the shade 140 Rose Romance. I like to apply it by putting a little bit on my palette here and then just like spreading it out with my finger. And then I go in with a brush to apply. This one is the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. This is actually really, really pigmented. So you just go in with a tiny little bit. So it's my 30th birthday coming up in October. <laughs> what the actual hell? I'm turning 30. No, I'm actually really excited to turn 30. I feel like it's going to be like... I don't know, I'm just, I'm proud of where I am and all the things that Clinton and I are doing together. And yeah, it's just gonna be an exciting time. Now I am planning a birthday party. I wasn't going to because I've just got a lot going on right now and I'm like, I can't even think about planning a party in the midst of it all. But I thought I will be so upset in the future if I don't have a party. So anyway, the theme, is Tanika's Thotty 30th. I think I just want an excuse to be a little thought. <laughs> I've actually ordered these boots of Nasty Girl. Oh my God, I hope they fit me. They are like thigh high boots and they're made from like diamantes. So they sparkle in the light. Oh my God. I'm so excited to get them. I really for highlighter, I'm using my Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. This is such a bloody bargain. It's only $10 and you get three shades. I personally only like this shade. Please focus. This shade here, it's like a champagne. The pink, look, if you've been around my channel for a while, you would know how I feel about pink highlighters. They're just a bit too icy, not a fan. And the gold, it does work, but I just, I prefer the champagne. It's so beautiful. So I'm going to be using this Morphe E... Ooh, I'm gonna say 81. It's kind of scratched off, so I don't know what it says. But it's nice and big and fluffy, so it applies it really lightly, and it's great when you're applying like a powder highlighter over cream products. Before I move on to my eyes, I'm just going to go in with a bit of this NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Spray, just to settle everything down, you know, do that, do that. For brows, I've got a little combo here, starting with the Essence Make Me Brow Gel, and then the BYS Brow Liner. This actually doesn't have a shade on it, but I'm gonna say it's blonde. And then the Essence Tiny Tip Precise Brow Pen in Dark Brown. Next, I'm going to go in with the concealer that I used and carve out the brows and put this all over the eyelid as my eyeshadow base. I like to use this brush here. It's the Morphe M421. It's just a nice, tiny little concealer brush so I can get right up under the brows and make sure they're looking nice and neat. And then I've got this brush by Sigma, the P88. It's just like a very tiny little angled kabuki brush. And then I use that to stamp the concealer and blend it out. And then before I set it with powder, I'm just going to do the other eye so I can make sure that they're as even as possible. I've just gone ahead and done one eye to try and remember what I did. Now I did use the ColourPop That's Taupe palette. This has been such a favorite of mine. I am loving cool tones lately. I'm still trying to find a nice cool tone palette at the drugstore. I really want Astralis to come out with one. How good would that be? But. We've got this one here. So I'm starting off with this shade here called Python, and I'm going to put that in the outer corner and run it throughout my crease. And to do that, I've got a nice big fluffy brush. This one is by Sigma. The um, name of the brush is rubbed off though, so I'm not sure what it is, but you just want a nice big fluffy brush. So I like to just stamp it in the outer corner to place the color down and then start running it through my crease all the way into the inner corner. I'm then taking a smaller fluffy brush. This is the Sigma E38, the black one. I'm just comparing it to the first one that I used for you. And I'm going to use that to get into my inner corner a bit more precisely. 
taking the E33 brush by Sigma. This is a very small and like super fluffy brush. If I compare it to the other black one that I just used, it's even tinier, but see how it does that more? <laughs> It's really, really light anyway. So I'm going to take it with this shade here, Boa, and use it to diffuse the edges of the first shade we put down. I'm then going to go back in with the shade Python on this Zoeva 230 pencil brush and run that under the lower lash line. Next, I'm taking this E27 Detail Blending Brush by Sigma. Again, just a nice, tiny little brush. And in with the shade Bedrock, this deep brown. And I'm going to lightly put that on the outer corner here and blend it throughout the crease. I'm not going to bring it up as high as the first shade, though. I'll also take a tiny bit of that on this... Again, I'm sorry, I don't know the number, it's rubbed off, but this little detail brush here by Sigma and put a little bit on the lower lash line. Next, I'm using this Sigma Shader Lid E56 brush, and I'm going to go in with the shade Cold Blooded. It's kind of like a gray shimmer. And then I'll also take a little bit of this shimmer here called Starlet. Star, wow, I'm trying to read it upside down. <laughs> Slated. <laughs> this shade here, and just put that on the inner corner. Now that I've got all the colors laid down, I like to go in and just do some finessing. So I'm going back in with the E27 brush and that deep brown, just to blend the shimmer and the matte back together. I also like to go in with my pencil brush and the very first shade we used, Python, and just run it along where the shimmer meets the matte throughout the crease. And then again with that dark brown and the pencil, the brush I don't know the name of, I'm just going to lightly, or like very thinly, sorry, put this up against the lash line. For mascara, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Sky High. Now, I have been testing this out recently, and I just don't think it's as good as people say. <laughs> I've always been a fan of Maybelline mascaras, but the reason I think I don't like it as much is because it's got a rubber wand. I prefer a, like a natural fiber bristle wand. I don't know what I'm trying to say. So I prefer this, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I prefer this wand, okay? <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to put it on and show you how it applies. I just find the rubber wands hold too much product. Like they make your lashes a bit more clumpy. Like they still look, they still look good, but it's just not. Not exactly what I want, you know? Like see when I'm applying it, how clumpy it is there. And I didn't even dip it back in. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm going in with a brown eyeliner. This is the Rimmel Exaggerate, and I'm going to tight line. Because I have blonde lashes, I feel like they can just look a bit gappy sometimes. And so tight lining just really finishes the look off. So this eye I've tight lined and this eye I haven't. I hope you can see a difference as much as I can. Like, it just, much better. Now, when I did this look the other day, I used the NYX Lingerie Double XL Lipstick in the shade Undressed. A beautiful, beautiful formula, and I love the color. But today, I'm going to use something different. So I'm going in with the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Cappuccino, which is a nice deep brown. And then for my lipstick, I'll be using the W7 Velvet Luxe Lipstick in the shade What's Nude. Now, I don't want a really harsh 90s look, so I am just going in with this tiny little eyeshadow brush and blending out the edges. All 
Alright, well this is the finished look. If you end up recreating this, I would love it if you would share it on your Instagram and tag me. I would love to see it. Thank you all so much for watching and also a quick thank you for 8,000 subscribers. I did put a little post in my community tab, but I don't know if I actually said it in a video. If I didn't, thank you. So exciting. I'm nearly at 10K. Like, what the hell? <laughs> But anyway, I hope you're all having a great day. Don't forget to come and follow me on Instagram and TikTok and subscribe to my channel if you are new. I will list all the products I've used down in the description box below, including the link to the Mermaid Hair Blow Dry Brush. Besides that, I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.